Hey! Welcome, friends! Listen, this isn't really the start of this week's vlog, but I just wanted to say I'm actually doing the last section of the vlog, and it's an extra section of the Triumph Twins this week because in only five days they really changed. And I wanted to let you know at the end of the video, we're going to show you the Triumph Twins now. So hang in there till the end and subscribe to our channel here, folks. Give a thumbs up. Let's start the vlog this week. A little preview. I'm glad you could be with me today. Max Raphael here. Welcome to the vlog week 11. And here I am this afternoon in the rain. But hops love the rain this time of year. We are here in our female hop yard and we're going to show you our second year, starting second year girl hops here. Well, we managed to clean up the whole hop yard, at least the part that has plants. As you can see right here, there's no plants in this little patch, so we haven't bothered out there. We have two rows. It's going to be all hops, babies. We still have to clean up, but look where our plants are. All clean, waiting for our mulch, which is going on in the next day or two when it stops raining. I want to show you our plants here. This is our pubescent, which hasn't done much. We have three crosses here. These are our Rocky Neo Mexicano with Comet. And you can see they are starting to pop. Almost everything's starting to pop. Something really cool. I thought I'd show you here this Alpha Aroma. Now, we had an Alpha Aroma in our male hop yard. It really kicked ass. Look at this thing. This is only after one year in the ground. And it is giant. And I'm going to have to cut that stump off, I think. But man, it's pretty. This is the biggest plant in our hop yard now because every plant started last year. But I want to show you something else really cool. You can see it. Right there is the smallest plant in our hop yard. It's a plant that started from seed. So apparently a seed fell from one of the cones from last year. It vernalized over the winter and popped. There's a long story with some of our plants are OPOP, which is open pollination, open pollination crosses from 2018 or just that. But another time I'll tell you that story. These are our experimental top secret hops babies, which is starting the second year and they really sucked last year. But damn, they look good now. HBO 98 is starting. Another couple of experimentals, a magnum. A couple more rocky comet crosses. Coming over here, check out our Zeus. Ba-bam! She's ready to go. This I'm really thrilled about this year because we had this Brewer's Gold. I planted this real late in the year. It was a cutting from the USA and it was this right here was the only part of the plant. But look, hoo-hoo. No way I thought that thing was going to make it through the winter. I even found the actual USDA tag <laughs> for the plant. So, a nice Chinook. You can tell the difference between the first year plants that I planted from a plantlet that I had made from USDA cuttings, the nugget, and from our seedlings. Now this trial versus Rocky was pretty good last year and starting to kick. And a lot of these are open pollinated here, which again, we're C 
seedlings that just fell. And I found in the hop yard a triple pearl. That thing kicked ass last year. And it's gonna kick ass next year, this year, shortly. This is really pretty. Check that out. Purple asparagus popping up. Them things look ready to eat, Centennial. And coming to the end, these are all our own varieties that are going to be kicking ass this year. I can't wait to see what they look like, what they smell like, what they taste like. If we hit any jackpots on anything really special. I want to talk a little bit about this contraption right here, which is part of our trellis. we we'll back up here and let you see what we have is a trellis that we retract, which means we lower the wires, folks. This for us was a game changer. No more climbing a ladder. Don't need no kind of elevation. I lower and raise the wires, lower the wires to tie the strings, raise them to pull the plants up. I lower them if I have to look at something at the end of the year in order to harvest, same thing. This week we're gonna be going over our trellis. We're going to check the trellis and irrigation system and talk a lot about that in the next vlog. We're going to do a tip how to build a retractable trellis. Could even be simpler than this. Just one post. So, here's our girls. Our hop yard, female hop yard is really hopping. Let's go inside in the hops world. Hey, hopsters. Here I am, yes, smiling. I don't know if you can see here in the envelope. This is male pollen from wild male plant from France. Thank you, my friends from France. And we are going to dab these burrs into the pollen simply. In order to pollinate, I can even see the pollen stuck, some of the little plant parts stuck to the little hairs, the pistils, which is going to turn into a cone. Now this cone should have seeds. I've had this pollen for a few months, so I hope it's still viable, but it should be, I really think. We're going to do some more now and go around. As you can see, our plant has here on the ends. I'll show you all the little white hair starting. There's almost a cone form here up underneath the light. See that baby? So we're really going to start paying attention to the light and hopefully give it better newts. Flowering. There's a nice one hanging out here in the middle of the room. And we're going to pollinate all these future cones and hopefully have some really cool seeds and future crosses with our powerful Zeus and the USDA created. I think it's still their newest variety, which they say is like bazooka bubblegum, the flavor of the coat, crossed with a wild male French house plant. Woohoo! Real quick, our male yard, not much happening. This is the spot where we're gonna put some females to make some crosses shortly. This year, here is our Rocky and our new Mexicano male. Waking up early, as usual. Looking good. And over here, our super boy. Real quick, I won't spend much time here because not much going on. Nada, nothing. So, that's our male hop yard this week. And I am happy with Rocky made it through three feet of ice and snow and rocks pushed on top of him with a snow plow. 
couple months ago. I'll put a picture here. But hops are hard to kill. Hey folks, I thought we would take advantage and bring some of our new baby hops seedlings down into the dungeon when we go. Here we are making round two of our baby hop seedlings. But I wanted to show you a little secret here that you can do that would probably help if you're transplanting, making seedlings, making new cuttings. Never use a clear plastic cup or container for plants. Roots do not like light. Think about it, roots grow underground. A nature figured that out. So we always use these red solo cups if we don't have little vases. And we make a hole, two holes actually, in the cups for drainage. We did the same thing with the plastic cups. We made two holes. And what we did here this time was we planted the little cuttings in the plastic cup. This is good because you can really see my method. I put about an inch of perlite for drainage so that them little holes in the bottom don't get clogged with the soil. And then our, what I call our super soil, it's soil that we make. And it has plenty of perlite in there, you can see, along with uh, our mushroom compost and some other stuff. But Basically, the reason I put them in plastic is so I can see the roots. But what I do is I take the plastic cup and I put it inside the solo cup. Okay, so I only do this for maybe a half a dozen or a couple of each variety maybe, just to make sure that the roots look good. If you're trying to figure out how much water to give your plants, you can tell better if the soil's dry way down at the bottom because sometimes it'll look dry at top and it won't at the bottom and if you really let your plant dry out the roots will come right out to the sides of the cup so it's a really important little tip if you guys want to learn how much water and if your roots of your plant are growing correctly so let's take these bad boys what are these zeus and USDA 19058, our Superboy. Over here, also we have some Chinook cross with our Superboy. These are going to be part of our mail program. That we're trying to make some killer male hot plants for breeding. All right, down to the dungeon. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Victoria. And today we're gonna give why do the hops band? Hey, what a surprise! Look who's down here in our grow room one with our 15 foot tall, well, let's say long, hops plants. Since last week they've really filled out and we're giving them water almost every day. So today we're going to show you how we give our big plants water. But yeah. if you notice, we have some babies in here too. Yeah, they're the babies. Look, because there's not enough room in grow room two. So our plants have really gotten above the trellis. They're starting to get out of hand. I actually quit training them because we are about to turn out the lights, folks. <laughs> Mark this date. March 31st will be the time we turn the mites back to 10 hours a day. And let's see if these babies flower and how long till the first birds. But first we're gonna go into grow room one because them plants, them little hops babies are going crazy, right? Let's go. Okay, yes. Look at that, wow. Wow. And we have our purple LED lights. Mm. And look how long the plants are getting, Victoria. What do you think? Good. 
They need some water soon too, huh? Yeah. So folks, these babies are two weeks old. I'm going to turn the regular lamp on and give you a little video here shortly. So you can see they're all getting tangled in with each other. And some are about two or three feet long, which is really what I want. How are we going to get them out of here and untangle them? Well, we're going to cut them back. And cutting them back is really going to make them branch out a little and get these stems, which are some of them are real thin, a lot stronger. And that's what we want. And we want to fill the cups up almost all the way with soil. And they should be good to go until we plant them in about another month. So let's go good water to the big plants in Grow Room 1, okay? Okay. Bye bye, babies. Bye bye, babies. It's very important so to check if your soil is, neat, is dry before you give more water. All right, so let's give the hop some water. We give them about two liters a day. There are days I let them go two days so they really dry out. And then we gotta give them a little bit more the next day. So let's do it. Okay, BV, thank you so much for helping water the big plants. And in a little while, we're gonna have to give water to the babies. But first, it's funny because we walked in here and V was asking which ones are girls and which ones are boys. And I told her all these in this room, the big ones are girls. The babies could be boys or girls, we don't know yet. But she said, this plant right here, I want to give it a name. So this plant is actually a cross of a lupuloides, humanus lupulus, lupuloides, open pollinated from Canada. And Victoria, she knows if it's a boy or a girl. What is it? A girl! Yes, and we are giving her, Victoria is giving her a name. What's it going to be? Super Girl! Okay. <laughs> so, our Lupa Luides officially has a name. And we have our Super Boy outside. It's just about to sprout. So, hopefully this Lupa Luides will bloom and we'll get it outside next to Super Boy and they can have babies. What do you think, V? Sound good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go back to Hop's World, folks. Check on what's going on over there. Well, here we are at the end of the vlog, folks. And check out that cone. That was just a burr five days ago. And all these that were burrs are really turning into cones. It's really cool to see the evolution of some of these cones because we have pretty much all stages. There's even over here, let's see, just some bars. But for those of you that are new here, this is our Actually, the ceiling's 10 to half foot tall. The plants are about 14 feet because they grew way out past the ceiling and started going horizontal here inside a hops world. This is our 600 watt Hydromars full spectrum LED. And we'll scan down and show you the plants. We really learned a lot on this grow. Mostly that you can't have three plants and a little dinky hydroponic. It's actually an aeroponic setup. Basically turned into a hydroponic setup. What happened was the roots are filling the space inside. So I'm going to do this again after these cones are done flowering. 
We actually germinated them in the beginning of the vlog. And hopefully we get some seeds. The plants are really pretty. The leaves are pretty. These are our Triumph twins, T1 and T2. They actually are clones from the same mother plant and one Zeus here that's going outside and probably one of our Triumphs will go outside and we'll just do one next time. I think one plant in our aeroponic will work much better. We'll have a lot more volume of water. We're adding a couple liters of water a day now and if I don't add water, I let it go again two days and boy, the plant suffered. Let me see if I can get some of these into the light. This cone is halfway there. Let me see, this one here really looks cool. It's worth it to try to get a good look at it. This is a hops cone that is almost formed completely. It still has the little white hairs from the burr and right next to it, a fully formed cone. You could see we had some a lot of re-vegging, we had too much nitrogen. I kind of gave up on these. If you haven't been following along, I didn't think they were going to flower and then they did flower. So that's why you see the cones have some extra foliage at the bottom. I actually let them dry out with water twice. Uh, it was a mess. But they end up flowering and surprising me. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going and letting them flower a lot or just get these cones and some seeds and start over. We'll decide in the next week or two. But there it is, folks. The Triumph Twins. If you followed along, it's been 11 weeks since these things were an inch tall and 14 foot tall plants with cones. Not many, but we're going to definitely do better. Hopefully next time. We're going to maybe get a EC meter and do it right. It kind of was a test here. But I think I'm going to do something totally different and lower so the light hits more of the plant. I have some great ideas for the next grow, but I thought you'd like to see our Triumph Twins. Difference in only five days. One more in the books, folks. Vlog number 11. I'm glad you were with me this week. Don't forget to subscribe. Next week, we're going to be checking on the trellis outside and showing you how that works. Cranking it up, cranking it down. If you want to think about putting in a small hop yard that you don't have to climb a ladder, that's the one. Thanks, folks, for being here. I enjoyed it. Cheers to life.